Hi, this is John Wow with the Eco Guys, and I am coming to you from the O Town Radio Studios. And today we're going to have an eco tip, and we're going to talk about the Amazon effect. That's right. What is the Amazon effect? Well, basically, more and more retailers these days are offering online services. So, in some instances, that's good for the environment. In some instances, it's not so great about the with the environment. It's putting a lot more materials out there in our waste stream. That means you, as a person who uses Amazon or whatever, are going to need to do a little bit more, a few extra steps, to ensure that our planet stays clean, that these items are recycled, and that you do your part to stay green. Okay, and we're going to run through some of these things as well as questions that we received about or things connected to the Amazon effect. Now the biggest problem I have, and well, give me a second, let me reach down here. The biggest problem I have with Amazon is sometimes I'll order a product that comes into a little box like this, maybe like a, a Batman uh, figurine. And it comes into a small box like this, but the box that Amazon, Amazon Amazon ships it in is about five times the size of this box and what they do to make sure this box doesn't rattle around is they fill the rest of the box with this interesting little bubble wrap here look at that isn't that fun oh yes indeed so we're going to talk about both these issues one I do contact Amazon every time and I encourage you to as well when you receive a package and it's a large box and it's got one small item in it contact them and say that's not, that's not very environmentally friendly please uh, put the word out and they will they'll make sure because if they're using big boxes to ship little things like this and using a lot of this they're wasting their money as time as well so it's a good idea to keep on them about that okay we're going to talk about this bubble wrap in a minute but let's talk about some of the great things about ordering online some of the bad things now some of the bad things is if you go to your local store and you, let's say you buy a really cool Batman mug alright they receive these Batman mugs in large containers with many many quantities therefore one big cardboard box but if let's say uh, 500 people order the Batman mug at their home well then they get 500 different pieces of cardboard plus the packaging and that adds a little bit more waste to the waste stream but we could put this right back in the system without sending it to the landfill and uh, so that so there's good and bad things about ordering online uh, ordering online yes it, it, it puts more waste in, in the in the, the mainstream and uh, and such as that now we're going to talk about environmentally safe packing in a little bit. We're going to try to encourage Amazon to go this direction. Uh, but right now, they are seeking the fastest and easiest way to do it. And sometimes the fastest and easiest way is not great for the environment. So let's say you order a package from uh, Amazon and you get the box. Let's just bring the box out here. And, oh, I don't, want to, I don't want to give away the goodies inside just yet. So you got your Amazon box. Here it is. Oh, isn't that lovely? It's got the little smile on it. Uh, they cover the smile with tape. But you always know it's Amazon because it's got that little smile. Oh. Reach you at the door. Wow. So you open it up and you take your incredibly cool Batman mug out of the box. I didn't order this. This was a wonderful present for Christmas from my mother. Oh. But anyway, so... Let's just say you take your uh, your your your, your uh, Guy Fox mask out of this box, I'm, and all of a sudden it was wrapped up in this stuff. So what do we do with this? Well, one of two things: one, keep it, use it yourself. I find out I find that throughout the year, and especially around Christmas time, I'm always needing to store things around the house. Let's say. Uh, you have a breakable uh, figurine or something that you want to store. Well, you hold on to this because these are great to, to, to pack things around your house with, the store, or say you're going to mail something. Instead of running to the store and buying these things, go ahead and just 
you hold on to this, put it in a in a paper bag or a box uh, and store it away. And then all of a sudden, when you're ready to send your Guy Fox mask off to your buddy, you can take out this and wrap it up so it's nice and safe. Hold on to it. Well, if you find yourself not really wanting to hold on to it, this plastic bags can be taken back to any local store that accepts your shopping plastic bags, okay? So I always say to people, even though when you go to the store and you bring your own canvas bags or you ask for paper, you don't use plastic bags, you're still going to get plastics. They're still going to show up. You order the, that coffee mug from Amazon and boom, there you go, you got it. You, know, you open up a, a, a piece of food uh, and then you got your little wrappers that come with your foods and things. You're, you're going to get these things. Hold on to Don't throw these away. Okay, get yourself a nice paper bag, because I'm sure you use that over plastic, or that, uh, that trusty canvas bag. And as you run into plastic bags like this, or if you're ordering Amazon like this, go ahead and stick it in there and take it back to the store and recycle it. And the fun thing about this, you can have your kids do if you want to, before you put this in your bag to take it back to be recycled, you pop them. Got me, so you partner. can fit more in there, and, and this will fill up the, the air won't fill up the uh, thing uh, but other than that I, I I keep these and I use them to wrap up things around the house or mail them now I'm an environmentalist I, I'm really into recycling and I love to educate people and whenever I ship anything to someone friends family or business whatever and I use a reuse something like this I always stick a little note in there saying hi I'm reusing this packaging please do the same. If you can't, please take this plastics to a, a, a grocery store that accepts plastic bags and recyclables and recycle it for me. Don't throw it away. And you know, those little notes, I've had people email me back and say, thank you for the note. I just wasn't thinking, but the note made me do it and I recycled your plastics. And you know, you might get somebody who says, what are you bothering me for that for? No, no. You're still, you're doing the right thing. We'll talk about environmentally safe packing in a minute here. Something's going to blow your mind. All right, so we got the box still, and there's still something else in there. So you bought that wonderful Batman uh, a figurine, okay? And let's say it came wrapped up in this. Again, a lot of packaging that I get from Amazon has got this on it. You know, let's say you bought that new laptop, or uh, I, I see a lot of uh, electronics come with these you know, packed in these little plastic bags inside the thing. You know, you, you buy stuff all the time that comes in. Again, what do you do with this? It's got a sticker on it. Should I be concerned about that? Absolutely not. This right here, if you can't reuse it for something around the house, storing something, putting a plastic bag or something inside there, or a plastic bag, uh, storing something with your plastic bag or something like that, you take it back to the store where you get your grocery bags because the, there's only a few companies in the entire United States that recycle these type of bags and your grocery bags from your store. And they take, I've checked with every one of them, they take all types of plastics from plastic bags to shrink wrap to, uh, uh, you know, bags that your food are in, your cereal is in. Just make sure you clean it out a little bit with no food products, no contamination. And take it back here locally in Orlando, Florida. We have Publix supermarkets. Take it back to Publix. Stick it in the in the recycle uh, container and get these recycled. So when your product comes wrapped in these little bad boys, you know what to do. Recycle it. Do not throw these things out. This is the worst thing for the environment. Number one, it will not ever, maybe 100,000 or 200,000 years, biodegrade. Think about this. Every piece of plastic that you've ever dealt with your entire life is still on this planet somewhere unless it's been burned or recycled or whatever it's still here on this planet um, when you put items in a landfill and then you cover the landfill with big uh, rubber membranes and then they pile all that dirt on there they create a vacuum inside that literally freezes everything in time and nothing biodegrades nothing it stays there forever there's a great uh, if you go to YouTube there's a great documentary about the fresh kills landfill in New York City and see how they made those lovely park out of all these mountainous hills well those mountainous hills are landfills dating all the way back to the 1950s and it's still there nothing's biodegrading underneath there nothing 
So anyway, then we're dealing with the box. Now I'm going to pause here and I'm going to show you some photos and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk about these photos. Here we go. We're going to pause right now. Now, those photos you saw of cardboard sitting next to garbage cans being thrown away, in my opinion, that's a crime. And in anyone that's doing that are, are criminals against the environment because every municipality recycles. And if you live in an apartment complex or a trailer park or something that, don't, that doesn't recycle first, tell them they need to start doing it. They'll save them up to 75% on their garbage costs. So maybe that'll make them ring a ding ding. But it's up to you. Uh, if you have a recycle container and the box won't fit into it, it's fun. Rip it up. You know, everyone has some stress in their lives and there's nothing better to de-stress yourself than ripping one of these up. Uh, or there's a really cool second thing you can do. Okay. More than likely, you're going to go to a grocery store. More than likely, you're going to go to a gas station. More than likely, you're going to go to a home improvement warehouse or maybe even like a, a Walmart or something like that. Take your empty box with nothing in it, none of this stuff right here, okay? Take your empty box back to any store, any grocery store, anything, and ask them if they don't wouldn't mind putting this in their cardboard crusher and recycling it for you. Now, if any store that recycles their cardboard says, no, I'm not going to take that from you, you immediately write down the name of the supervisor, the store, the address, city and state, and zip they're in, and email that to the eco guys. After this eco tip, you'll, you'll see a, a, an email and a Facebook. Uh, we'll call them and you will never see that problem again. One, it's a customer service issue. Why would any store say no to a customer? And secondly, they get paid for this, so it makes no sense why they wouldn't take it and recycle it. Right, guys? Right, girls, guys? So take it back uh, to a store. And it's even, to, even if you go to a home improvement store or you go to a major re, uh, a retailer and you buy a television or whatever, and you got that big television box, take it back. Just take all the stuff out of it. And I'll tell you what to do with that stuff later. Take all the stuff out, just take the empty cardboard back to the store and have them recycle it. They'll crush it, they'll recycle it. And as for gas stations, every single 7-Eleven, Wawa, any place that I've ever stopped, I always see a dumpster in the back that says cardboard only. Chuck it in there. There are dumpsters everywhere that says cardboard only. Toss them in those dumpsters, they will get recycled. There's a million places, and you know what? Even if you work in an office, wherever you work, I'm absolutely certain that there is a recycling program that they have at your job or in your building. Ask the take your cardboard box to work with you, and ask the maintenance supervisor of the building. You guys recycle this? You got a dumpster downstairs? Or you, you know, you recycle the cardboard? Can, can I throw this in there? They'll say yeah. Why not? Go right ahead. So there's a million ways to recycle this, and then you got your curbside recycling. Don't throw this cardboard away. That is ridiculous. This stuff can be used over and over and over and over. And for every piece of cardboard you throw away, we're going to have to cut down a tree. And what's so bad about that? Well, nothing. It's just the trees provide oxygen for us to breathe. They cool the planet down, and they're really cool to look at. So let's recycle these, uh, these cardboard boxes. Uh, from Amazon, okay? All right, enough of that. All right, next. Sometimes you get this. Oh my goodness, a whole brand new piece of plastic to worry about. Look at that. Amazon Prime, that's right. There we go. I'm a big guy now. I'm always a big guy, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so what to do with this when you get it? Oh my goodness. Now, this is an envelope, uh, and it's got bubble in the inside. It feels like plastic. Uh, it is. It's actually uh, a melted plastic. If you look real carefully, these things come in long sheets. And what they do is they, they, they bring this thing down and they melt it together. And if you kind of feel, you kind of feel that on the end. It's actually melted together to form an envelope. And it's the size of whatever the product that they need. 
So if you think about that, if they cut this to the size of the product that they need, why can't you do that? That's what I do. When I get these things from uh, from Amazon or from whatever, the, the, this type of material, I try to cut the top of it off just as much as I need to open this up. And once you cut that item off, you're going to have a little strip of plastic. That can go back with your grocery bags. Then I take the item out, and I hold on to these things, and I'll tell you what I do with them. One, if I need to mail something to somebody, free envelope. All you got to do is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, there you go, we'll do it this way. All you got to do is just, is peel this sticker off. It's real easy. Sometimes I just put a little water on it. It's plastic. It ain't going to hurt it. And then after a while, you can peel it off or stick a new sticker over this that you're mailing it to and uh, mail it away. Uh, I always make sure that I'm, I'm a little ahead of the game. I put the sticker on there with a little extra Elmer's glue just to make sure it sticks. And boom, now you got a free envelope. Mail it off. And I try again. I'll put a little note in there, you know. Try reuse these. It's really cool to do that because sometimes I see people doing it and it, all of a sudden it comes all the way down to about letter size eventually. Um, if you can't do that or don't want to do that, these things right here that's got no paper on the outside, it's all plastic, it's 100% recyclable. Take it back to the place where you take your grocery uh, bags back to, your plastic grocery bags, or you shouldn't have those anyway, but uh, the bags like this, uh, their food bags things like that. I, I have uh, plastic grocery bags all the time because when I'm walking around, I see them blowing around everywhere and I grab them. Uh, we were coming out of a restaurant uh, the other day and there there was a plastic bag right there in the, in the flowers. Uh, so we reached down, grabbed it, brought it back and it went to uh, it went back to the store and got recycled. So this can actually go back to the store and recycle it if you don't want to reuse it. Another thing is really good about this is it, it if you have something around your house that you want to store I have a friend that collects vinyl records and when he doesn't have them on display he, he uses these prime uh, envelopes this and another type I'll show you in a minute and he puts his vinyl records inside for storage flat in his closet so it helps keep them more protected so you can actually hold on to this to protect things also if you fold it you got packing material so I encourage the, re the reusing of it and the recycling of it more than packing material because when you mail that off to somebody, they're liable to throw it away unless you put a little note in there saying this can go back to your local store that you take grocery bags back to and recycle it. I mean, it just takes 10 seconds to write that. All right. Just care about the environment. And it's also good for storage. All right. Next one is this. Now... I get a lot of questions about these, and I'm going to really uh, make it real simple. If you look, look inside there, you'll see plastic glued to this paper. Now, I'm not saying that you have to get in there and, and try to remove this plastic. Sometimes it's impossible. It's too glued. So there's only really a couple things you can do with this type of envelope. Now, if you get an envelope that does not have the plastic bubbles on the inside, that could be easily recyclable with your cardboard. It's considered to be like a, a rough paper uh, or with your uh, paper bags. So if you take your paper bags back to the store, this without, now remember, without the plastic in them, just the paper itself, that could be recycled as, as paper bags. Uh, again, I will reuse this. I, I open it in such a way, if you can see that, uh, the label's on there. It's not supposed to be. We are supposed to remove these before I went to uh, talk to you fellas and you ladies. Uh, and I'm, I'm not going to sit here and try to fiddle with uh, taking this off. But sometimes these labels are easy to peel off. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes you'll start ripping the, the thing and you don't, if, if you're going to try to reuse that, this one's kind of coming off. You can see, I'm sorry, I'm off camera. <laughs> anyway, so this one's actually kind of coming off pretty easily, and the label will come off. You, uh, there you go. Unfortunately, label comes off. Yeah, this, there's nothing you can do with this label, uh, although this label here will not go to the landfill. I will use this to start my outdoor grill or a fireplace uh, come around Christmas time. It's going to go and, and, and do that. 
Uh, but anyway, so once you remove that, you know, and you can remove this too or just take a marker and go through it, you got an envelope you can reuse. You can send to somebody. It doesn't matter if the smiley face is on there. You can still use it. You know, once it's sent to you, it's your property. And uh, uh, so if you, you want to, I hold on to these. I got about, oh, jeez, at least 100 of these, I think. And any time that I sell something on eBay or if I got to mail photos or something, I slip it in here and I tape it up, send it off, and I tape it in such a way that all they got to do is pop the tape. They can open it up, take it out, remove the tape, or you could cut off again the very top of these things, put something else in there, and tape up the top and send it, and, and it goes down again. Um, another thing, too, is this is very very cushiony so you could store things uh, I know some people who actually put this and they store things on top of it or store things inside it important paperwork sometimes or whatever they don't want anything to get crushed it's good for storage so there's a few things that you can reuse this thing for uh, I would hate to see these things go to the landfill try to reuse them and encourage reusing of these if you have an office and you, you have a lot of inner, inner office memos that go back and forth to people they're always stuffing it in these and saying, hey can you mail this over to, send this over to Frank and in, uh, in, in the uh, loan department and you just put on there do not throw away reuse this Frank from the loan department gets it out there puts the stuff on the ground oh wait a minute you know hey send this to Cindy at receiving please you know inner office mail reuse these things be proud of it it may look wrinkled it may have a smile face on there it may have tons of notes on it but you're showing your employees one that you care about the environment and maybe they will pass that on in their own personal lives and you're saving money why waste a bunch of money buying inner office envelopes with the fancy little lines on it when you got a hundred of these for free coming into your place every, you know every single day your office your building or not I'm sure if you have a house you got a hundred of these coming in a day we have to have a discussion. Uh, you're shopping way too much, but you know what I mean. Uh, and if worst case scenario comes down and there's absolutely nothing you can use this for and it's got the plastic on the inside, if you have a fireplace, if you have an outdoor uh, you know, grill or an outdoor fireplace and you need some paper to help start it, use this. Just try to keep it from going to the landfill and taking up space forever. Use it for something. But reusing these to mail things are wonderful. I don't think I have bought a brand new envelope in seven years. I haven't had a reason to because I'm reusing these. And I don't care what people think. They think I'm loving the environment. Now, let me tell you about environmentally safe packing because we're going to end this. So this is the bid, the Amazon experience. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you're watching this on YouTube, comment below like hit that like button uh, subscribe uh, hit the bell for notifications and tell me what you think I'll read I read every comment uh, if you're watching this on, on Facebook comment if you're watching this on wherever you're watching I, I want to hear your comment even if you have to email me I want to hear what you think about the Amazon um, effect uh, with the environment and with these packaging and if you have any great ideas on how to reuse these packaging or if you're in an area that doesn't recycle and you're concerned and you want to recycle, you know, call me or not call me, but, but send me a note or something like that. And uh, I will help you in your local area find a place for you to take your cardboard, take your plastic bags uh, and recycle. Even take your everyday items like your um, bottles and cans uh, and to get them recycled. And more and more communities are only taking uh from uh, you, you look on the bottom you see the little recycle symbol it's arrows with a number they only take in like you know one twos and, and fives or something like that when all municipalities should be taking all the plastics one through seven uh, and so we are working really hard to try to encourage uh, industry to take more recycle plastics and more recycle plastics uh, uh, manufacturers to to show up and, and make more products because we have a big problem with plastics. Uh, the last update I heard is we have over a trillion items floating in the ocean that's made out of plastic and what they call the plastic currents. We have trillions of items right here going to our landfill every single day uh, throughout the world. We need to stop this and we need to start right in your neighborhood with you. 
be conscious of what you buy. Try to buy items in metal and glass rather than plastic containers. Start choking them off. Uh, maybe it'll encourage them to go back to glass. Now, the reason that they went to glass, and I know this is stepping away from the Amazon uh, thing for a second, but the reason uh, all manufacturers went from glass and metal to plastics is because back in the 70s and the 80s, gas prices were a problem. And this was a way for them to save gas because the plastics are lighter. That's the reason. Not because of, oh, if you drop it on the ground, it won't break. Well, I'll tell you right now, I dropped some plastic uh, things on the ground and they shatter like glass. Are you kidding me? Poof, everything mustard everywhere. So, times have changed. Trucks and trains are a lot more energy efficient. Uh, they A lot of them use bio, bio uh, diesel which is a lot cheaper than regular gas and if you buy a lot of it you'll be surprised how low a lot of these uh, truck uh, people are paying for their uh, fuel they don't want you to know uh, and it, it, we're getting better and better in, in, in the uh, efficiency of transportation as well as gas prices when you use recycled biodiesel which more and more are using so it kind of cancels that out. It, it would probably be the same cost now to ship glass and, and metal. And glass and metal could be recycled over and over and over and over and over again for infinity. And if you have a, 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 a glass bottle and you melt that down, you can have the same amount of glass as you put in that. It, it's incredible material. So when I go shopping, and you're right, it may be two or three or four or five cents more but that two or three or five cents more will help save the environment and make it easier for you to recycle. And that's just all there is to it. And a lot of people like to buy things only in metal containers, uh, food if they can, because if you rinse out the metal container and like throw it in like a, a box in the corner of your garage and take that in once a month to the recycle center, you get cash for it. How about that? How about getting cash back? So it, the whole thing about the extra two or three cents, you know, canceled out because you get money for those aluminum cans and you can get money for those metal cans and anything else in your house that you run into on a daily basis that's got metal in it, you can get paid for that. So, there you go. Um, environmentally safe packaging. This is something unique that we're going to start offering because a lot of people seem to can't do it. But if you are somebody who ships a lot of things out, let's say you've got your uh, eBay uh, account and you ship a lot of things out and you need to use bubble wrap or the worst thing in the world you could possibly use is the styrofoam peanuts and things like that. Uh, try not to use those things. What you need to do is go to the store, uh, go to an auction, go to a used appliance store and buy a hot air popcorn popper hot air popcorn popper and then buy regular everyday popcorn in the bag not the greasy with the buttered flavor or the caramel flavor regular unflavored regular popcorn in the bags a 10 pound bag of popcorn will fill a huge box and hot air your popcorn and pack your items in that and simply put a note on a white eight and a half eleven sheet of paper so it's easy recycled that this is an environmental way of packing you can throw the popcorn away you can toss it into your uh, into your uh, uh, compost pile uh, or and the best thing to do is if you, instead of throwing it away you could put it in your yard waste recycling and it's 100 percent recyclable 100 percent renewable 100 percent safe and studies show that this hot air popcorn cushions items more than styrofoam does so think about that it just takes a moment you just put your box up there you pour the popcorn into your hot air popper turn it on and go watch the walking dead for a minute or go see what Geraldo is talking about or you know go over there and get on Facebook and tell everyone what they don't know what they're talking about and you do like I do all the time on Facebook and then by the time you get back five minutes later or something like that you got a box full of popcorn let it cool, put your item in there, seal it, mail it, and you've done, you have sent out a cardboard box packed with popcorn 
to protect your item, the cardboard's recyclable, the popcorn's environmentally friendly, and as soon as I would say probably 20 mail outs, you've paid for your popcorn popper, because you're not buying this, and you're not buying styrofoam, and not buying any of that, and then from then on, it's like almost nothing. You could buy a, a bag of popcorn, unpop uh, kernels, for a dollar in some places and it, that right there will probably uh, that box that I threw over there through the window uh, that would probably fill up about maybe eight or nine of those so there you go so that's an environmental way we're going in about 30 minutes on this uh, on this eco tip so we're gonna cut it off right now this is the Amazon effect this is John Wild look at the end of this show for all the contact information and to join the eco guys to donate to us because you donate to us, that helps us get manufacturing uh, excited about taking more items recycled, clean up and green up projects, and to help you become greener. So think about maybe throwing a couple of dollars our way. We really do appreciate that. Have a wonderful green day, and always contact me with questions, because we're going to be doing some question videos here real soon. Uh, and join our YouTube and join the green machine. I don't care what affiliation you are. I don't care if you're a conservative, Republican. Uh, I don't care what you are. We got to take care of this earth. And we're just here to help you manage your waste, recycling, and give you great ideas to stay green and help us help the earth. It's John Wild. It's a living thing. It's a terror.